I am a man from Katua, the Blue Ridge bioregion of the Southern Appalachians. I am the living soil. I am the land incarnate. I am the vine. I am the flower and the thorn. I am its airspace and water. I am its militia. I am its fingers, ears, and voice. North Carolina dissolved into four parts and seceded from the Union in the year 2020. It was the year of American independence. Maine led the charge on July 4th to a nationwide Great Awakening. This was not a revolution. It was an exodus from slavery. Millions of Americans withdrew their consent from the District of Columbia through a personal declaration of independence. Sovereignty pulled the sword from the stone and man became king. The declaration was simple. This is my declaration of independence. I, James True, void all contracts made under the person James Marshall True with the corporation the United States of America. I am a natural born free man of the land. I am not a corporate fiction. I am the living soil. The capital of my bioregion is Koala, the former territory of the Eastern Cherokee Nation in Western North Carolina. Katua and the Cherokee Nation merged in 2021. This was how Katua got its name. Katua is a class three eco-region of the United States. As a sovereign of Katua, I attend the local council held each waxing moon on Grandfather Mountain. The larger regional powwow in Koala happens every summer on the solstice. We have no leaders, only agreements. Government is a tapestry of agreements. Once there, my cash gift was converted into Ethereum, the digital currency of Katua. It brought me joy to see the value of my offering. It made me want to bring more next time. Giving is uplifting. Taxation is deflating. Rain is cold! Cold rain! The energy we put into government is the energy that is returned. <clears throat> He's pretty bird. <clears throat> You're a pretty bird. Look how pretty you are. This is the beauty of bioregionalism <laughs> on a blockchain. Okay, were you aiming at it? The entire government is an open source white paper. Damn. <laughs> Steve, you want to take a look at yours? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Uh, Steve's so, okay. I think that's safe. Current is what we call bioregional money. <laughs> it makes it easy to distinguish from fiat cash. I can change who and what gets my current as often as I like. I can adjust it throughout the year as my position evolves. Before the rise of Katua, we were born as meat contracts and 40% of our labor was extracted under the threat of violence. Taxation is theft, but no one seemed to mind. We were sharecroppers for our time and delegated our morality to a crime syndicate. 
Our nation's militia belongs with the people again. They sold us stories of endless war and constricted our resources. We learned to be patient observers like the owl. We learned cleverness from the crow and courage from the jay. Since 1918, a citizen may not possess the feather of an eagle or a raptor. Society required the killing of all raccoons, skunks, possums, coyotes, and foxes, caught or orphaned. We blame the deer for crossing the road when it was the roads that crossed the forest. You're not falling asleep on me, are you? We killed our totems mindlessly. They are the machine that fed on our soul before we awoke. I never know when you're going to shoot, man, so. I know. <laughs> I just got to learn how to open. <laughs> Obedience has never been a strong suit for me. <laughs> I'd have made a terrible dog. <laughs> After the Great Awakening, we discovered the government can run on digital contracts. Take aim. Take aim! This is the essence of natural law and government. Yeah. Ethereum is a blockchain technology that can support this endeavor. With digital contracts, voluntarism can thrive inside a consent-based government. I don't have to worry about it. It's all taken care of. It all takes care of itself automatically. The land gives us her resources so that we may give the land our awareness. <laughs>